morning guys and welcome to Hopper's Much Bob Vlogs. How are we doing? Okay, this is the second of the three vlogs that we are aiming to do today for Hopper's Much Bob Vlogs. And I'm really looking forward to bringing you this one. The next one is obviously, can Tom Ingram, of course, um, potentially win his first ever BCCC title outright? And what do we think to his season so far? As well as... Um, Basically, is he going to be able to win the 2022 Quick Pit British Toon Guard Championship title? And, yeah, I think it's going to be a great uh, vlog. I think uh, most of you guys are probably going to look forward to this one. Um, if you're just joining there, the Jason Plato one is now uploading onto YouTube at the same time. So, yeah, so what's going to happen uh, with Tom Ingram then? Tom Ingram is essentially a championship leader as we go into the summer break then of the 2022 Quick Pit British Toon Guard Championship season. It is also going to be a very a long five weeks, according to us. It's five weeks until the next round of the championship at the end of July at the tight and twisty Knockhill circuit up in Scotland. It is going to be probably one of the hardest circuits to date to probably get the hybrid to work where you want it to work. Obviously, Toon Cars is hybrid this year for the 2022 season but uh, you know Tom Ingram seems to have a bit of a knack at the moment he's obviously had a few race wins he did the double at Alton Park um, a couple of rounds ago as well as uh, potentially uh, a 1-2 at uh, Croft in race number two fighting with of course his teammate Don Lloyd for the uh, race win but obviously Don Lloyd a tough race win but uh, Tom Ingram has been consistent where has you know, he's had a lot of uh, fighting for the championship with, of course, uh, Josh Cook. Uh, it seems like, um, as I say, Josh Cook has um, ultimately got down to second. He's had a bit of a disaster at Croft and seems to have a bit of a disaster at, of course, uh, Alton Park. Whereas after race two at Alton Park, Tom Ingram and, of course, Josh Cook were level on points. And it seems there's a lot of interest to see exactly how that's happening, what's got, why that's happening, or potentially that um, with Tom Ingram now sort of championship leader he's going to obviously have zero hybrid power going into qualifying at Knock Hill which is probably going to hurt him because you know there's a lot of um, potential interest within um, what's going to happen I think it's going to be a duel between him and of course Josh Cook I think Colin Turkington's going to be in the frame now I don't want to say Ash Sutton is going to be not in the frame. He's currently fourth in the championship standings. But, you know, is Tom Ingram going to fight for the title? Well, if the way he goes and if he gets more consistent and maintains more of a gap and Josh Cook has a bit of more disasters, should we say, or a bit more issues with the Honda or, you know, a lot goes on within and Josh scores less points, then yeah. Ingram may win the title for the first time this season. It's looking likely at the moment, and I don't want to put down on people that you know we may even get a first time winner in the championship, first time championship winner this season after a, quite a few dominant uh, forces with the likes of, of course, Colin Turkington and, of course, Ash Sutton winning the titles over the last couple of years. So it looks like we will have a new name on the championship trophy come the end of the year. I really hope we do. I think it would be good for the championship to have a new name, kickstart the hybrid era and say, look, look, let's look back at 2022 where we started going off going off with the hybrid and we had the likes of either Tom Ingram or, of course, of course Josh Cook. One of them would win the title and look how cool that was for having a new name on the championship. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to the other drivers that are on the grid, but, you know, Tom Ingram's been there about. He's obviously dialed in very well at Accelerate with the Hyundai i30M Fastback which then obviously he was racing last year because he obviously jumped from Speedworks to Accelerate last season. Last season was a bit of a learning curve to learn how that car was but this season he straight away got it out of the blocks. He got it you know potentially where he needs it to be. He did very well at uh, of course Donington Park then obviously you know trying to get thereabouts. I think, you know, even though the championship has changed between him and, of course, Josh Cook throughout the season, so far it's been a bit of a roller coaster for Tom Ingram. You know, 
he's obviously tried to dial in. Yeah, he's been caught up in a few issues there and then, but obviously, you know, to now walk away with three points going into the summer break as championship leader ahead of Josh Cook. I think that itself just shows exactly the calibre of what Tom Ingram wants to achieve this year. It seems that uh, there's a lot of interest going on with that and maybe, you know, Tingler may fight for the title. It's going to be a bit topsy-turvy because obviously second half of the season now we have obviously the visit to Knock Hill, which if you've never been to Knock Hill or if you have, you know, I heard Knock Hill's very great for spectating you can if you stand at one point in the circuit you pretty much see the whole track it's a very good track for views it's a very good track for action you know it's one we want to tick off on our obviously touring car um calendar we've we've only got that and of course silverstone to do as um part of the um touring car package but then obviously after um knock hill they go to snetterton then they head off to obviously back to fruxton for the second meeting at the fastest circuit so there is going to be potentially a lot of probably domination from, of course, Josh Cook at Fruxton, which, you know, Josh has obviously done the double already there this season. And obviously Josh did the double, of course, at uh, Bronze Hatch. So it's been a bit of a weird season so far for the likes of Tom Ingram and, of course, Josh Cook with both sets of fans. You know, it's been one driver's leading championship next minute, the level one point next minute, Josh retains the championship lead next minute, Tom Ingram brings the gap down and then goes into the summer break now, three points ahead of Josh Cook. It seems a lot of um, potential um, interest to see exactly what's going to happen with that. I don't know exactly what the outcome could be. You know, I think if Tom Ingram and, of course, Josh Cook do uh, potentially get... Um, fight for the championship you know I know Colin Turkington's going to try and be consistent but you know just think about it Colin had that nasty shunt to Olsen Park with Dan Lloyd which ultimately put him in the 2019 specification shell which is there but then they um, literally repaired it well made it tuned it into the hybrid version of the BTCC car which you wouldn't think it was a 2019 championship winning car so that's that's probably going to be maybe used for the rest of the season by WSR because the other one is currently getting fixed. Maybe we may see the 2019 car back out at Knock Hill, you know, we'll, we'll yet to see. But uh, with Tom Ingram, obviously, you know, he's fighting, wants to fight to try and get this championship. He wants the first championship for himself. As I say, it'd be nice to see a new time winning on the trophy at the end of the season. It has been thereabouts, so it has been since Tom Ingram's been in BTCC, I know when he started racing at Speedworks in the Aventis, it was a bit of a learning curve, but then straight away there was a battle, I think it was 2015, I believe, it's of course uh, Rockingham, where he actually, um, I don't know whether it's 20, he may have, no, it may have been actually um, 2013 when he made his W in BTCC, but there was a battle with him and of course Jason Plato, I'm sure, our diehard touring car fans will uh, correct me on what year it was when he got his uh, medium podium battling with Jason Plato. To actually, I think he actually finished second in that race at Rockingham in race number three, which proved the point that Tom Ingram is worthy of a future champion of BTCC. But obviously, when he's been at Speedworks for so long, racing the event system and obviously the Corolla, it seemed like after um, you know the 2020 season where. Yeah, he was at Speedworks and then obviously he tried to get Ginsters to go on board with Speedworks and I think obviously with Toyota Kazoo Racing, the worldwide organisation, we were like, well, no, we want to U Toyota Kazoo UK branch or Great Britain branch of the Kazoo brand, which then unfortunately Ginsters didn't like. So then that's when he obviously went across to Accelerate and plastered the i30 and Ginsters in... 2021 which uh, the thumbnail is that picture of the Ginster's livery but then obviously he lost that during the off season this season uh, before the season started so he's had to obviously now team up with Bristol Street Motors not too sure whether Ginster's actually do exist anymore either as a company so with losing the sponsorship you know it makes it 10 times difficult I think whether obviously if they've been told no it's not how we want it 
crunched out. It's kind of like not there now. It's kind of a kick in the teeth. But obviously, with having Bristol Street Motors on the uh, side of the car, he's obviously doing a fabulous job. He seems to be the ringleader of Accelerate at the moment with the likes of, obviously, Tom Chilton, his teammate on that side of the garage, uh, not having the best of seasons so far. And, of course, with Dan Lloyd as well as Jack Butel. I think, you know, with Dan Lloyd getting his breakthrough, two wins of the season is proving that, you know, it's now between them two for potentially at the moment getting race wins for the team. I know Tom Chilton may try and fight for a race race win, but he's having a bit of bad luck at late at the moment. He's trying to get thereabouts, but then there's been a lot of issues where he's been caught up in a lot of things. Jack Butel, however, no disrespect to Jack. He's obviously still in his second season with the team. He's obviously missed Croft due to personal reasons. I hope if you are watching Jack, I hope everything's okay, mate. You know, shame to miss you miss you at Croft. I wasn't there unfortunately. I kinda of wish I was, but you know, hope rumours has it you are back for knock hill, so that is very good to have all four signed drivers that were at the start of the season in the cars for knock hill. But uh I hope like I say mate, I hope, I hope everything's okay. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Tom Ingram though. Is he going to win his title? Is he going to win his first title? Just uh, bear with me one second while I uh, jump to see exactly what's going on. And so yeah, but you know, um, it seems a lot of uh, interest within um, Tom Ingram uh, pushing on to try and get his first ever title. It seems that obviously when he entered the championship uh, with Speedworks back in the day. I think, you know, it's set the outset that, you know, we've been a Ginetta Junior Champion, then obviously a Ginetta GT4 Super Cup Champion. You know, it shows your career path can either go to sports cars or touring cars. And with the likes of Tingram, I think, you know, yes, he's done very well. It's a bit weird that it's between him and, of course, Josh Cook at the moment. You know, I know if it was between him and Ash Sutton, I think, you know, looking at exactly how... That rivalry was over a couple of seasons. You know, Tom Ingram's always been thereabouts in the championship. He's always been fighting to try and win the championship. There was one point where, I think it's 2018, he was, I think he actually finished either second or third in the championship that season. And I think that's exactly how it panned out. And to be where he is now with the championship and the pinnacle of his career to be leading the championship or to be second in the championship but then fighting for the championship lead weekend weekend out weekend in weekend out it, it it's a ma marvelous achievement and personally you know when he came when tom came into the championship it was like what is going on you know he was stood pressure from jason plato i believe it was 2015 because plato was in the uh, volkswagen cc had a Passat with uh, RCIB uh, insurance, if I remember right, the black and orange and white um, Volkswagen Passat CC. So I may be wrong with that, but I'm sure the uh, touring car fans, I know I've been a touring car fan for 23 years, but sometimes you can lose track of what uh, what the scores were there. But uh, for Tom Ingram to have a podium, get a podium like that and then potentially to go on to win race it, win races you know and then potentially now look at him he's fighting for a championship it's a massive career boost it has been thereabouts it has obviously had a lot of uh things ongoing with uh the likes of obviously speed work accelerate you know it seems that the teams have obviously given good cars in the in the process and who knows exactly what the future holds maybe if we get to Round 30 is the championship at the end of the season at Brands Hatch. You know, we'll have a, a bit of, a, hopefully, a new name on the championship trophy. You know, it, it's, it's a bit of a weird one at the moment, though, how things go. But uh, it may be thereabouts. You may see exactly how things go. It, with Tom Ingram, he's fighting for the best driver of his career. He seems to be, obviously... Jumping on board that accelerate i thirty m fastback every weekend that he goes racing he seems to it seems to work it seems to want to be where he wants it to be you know I know okay 
of course, Alton Park, you know, out, sort of outside the point because of going off onto the grass and to avoid that accident between Dan Boyd and, of course, Colin Turkington. And then had to pit to remove the grass and then obviously to work his way up on a track that's very difficult to overtake as well as Croft, you know. But it's just showing exactly what the team expect him to do. He's expecting the team to give him a decent car. So we then, hey presto, that's why he's in the championship lead. Okay, it's only by three points, but let's see what happens in the, after the summer break. Is that momentum going to carry on? But, you know, who knows what's going to happen. I think, you know, with Tom Ingram being determined to win the title and potentially to have um, a lot of things ongoing to reach that first driver's title is a massive achievement to wear for being a rookie back in, I think it's 2013, I think he first started racing in BTCC. And then to get into now where he is on course to try and win the title for the first time is like, wow, because, you know, who knows? So, yeah, uh, you know, let us know in the comments, guys, what you think. Do you think he's going to be able to win his first title? Or do you think it's going to be a bit of under pressure? Do you think he's going to be cracking under pressure and uh, seeing uh, and maybe Josh Cook has a resurgence with uh, the Honda? You never know. It'll be interesting to see. Let us know what you think in the comments section, guys. And please do like and subscribe to Hoppers Much Spot Vlogs. It will be uh, amazing if you could. And don't forget to click that notification bell because you do not want to miss a lot of vlogs. It is going to be a very interesting uh, vlog coming up in the third of three vlogs today. I'm not too sure whether I'm going to get the third one out today. I've got a lot of work to do for the next vlog. I'll give you a bit of a preview. It's basically rating the 2022 um Quick fit British Touring Car drivers that have taken part since round one of the championship this season. Uh, the midway through the season, I'm giving ratings. I'm a bit concerned how that's going to go. I'm a bit. This is probably where it's going to be nerves of steel, but hopefully, I'll get that one out today. If I don't, I'll try and get it out sometime over the week. And I'll try to try and do three vlogs in one day. It, you know, it's very difficult to try and. <coughs> excuse me. Prepare. For some of the vlogs, you know, like the with the ratings, I've got to prepare that. But, you know, who knows? You may see a very interesting uh, mixture of ratings. But uh, obviously, like I say, uh, Tom Ingram, is he going to win his first ever title? It'd be very amazing to see. Can he do it? I think he will. He's got the car underneath him. But, you know, he's obviously going to be fighting for Josh with Josh Cook. But then if Colin Turkington gets the speed of that BMW and gets that momentum back and carries on, pushing and pushing and getting pole positions who knows it could be a three-way fight it could be a four-way fight it could even be a five-way fight for the championship like it was at the bronze hatch last season at the end of the year you know with the likes of obviously tom ingram was in that fight jake hill was in that fight josh cook ash shutton colin turkington you know it can go it can go down to the wire and tingram can have a disaster and then whoever, or maybe Josh Cook has a disaster. And then Colin Turkinson sees, oh, maximum points here. Yes, I'm going to get this title. But it all depends what happens in the second half of the season. It kick starts at the end of July, 31st of July. It kick starts. The second half will be at Knock Hill for the uh, next instalment. Uh, I believe it is round 16, 17 and 18 of the championship. And it's going to be very interesting to see how well the hybrid does round there. Because... Just remember, some of the circuits this year, i.e. Knockhill, Silverstone and Snetterton, where the hybrid is going to be potentially a weird, not a weird thing, but where they're going to use it. And then obviously you go to Fruxton where you've already been there before this season, so you can have a punch of data to say, right, well, we did well at this, this part of the circuit, we did well at that part, and vice versa. But then, obviously, when you go to Bronze Hatch, yeah, you're going to be on the Grand Prix loop, so it's going to be interesting to see where that's on the Grand Prix loop. It's going to work to its advantage or where it's its disadvantage, obviously, with the indie bit of the uh, GP loop. The guys know quite a bit. So it's going to be interesting. But, obviously, the tyre test at Snetterton is coming up on the 12th and 13th of July. So, yeah, that'll probably give them a bit more data for when they go to Snetterton. So, at the moment, it's kind of... 
working to some advantage by going to, of course, uh, Snetterton for the tyre test and then obviously going back to Fruxton to race again later on towards the end of the season. So let us know what you think. Do you think Tom Ingram's going to win this win his first ever title or do you think he's going to crack under pressure or do you think he's going to be thereabouts or do you think it's going to be another Turkington or Ash Sutton Championship win? I'm interested to hear your thoughts, guys. Do you think Josh Cook is going to make Tingram crack under pressure and say, look, mate, you want this title as much as I want it? Are they both going to crack under pressure? Let us know in the comments, guys, what you think. You don't have to agree with us. You can give us a bit of disagree. I'm not going to bite anyone's head off. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to giving you guys a next vlog. Like I say, I'll try and get either that next vlog out today at some point or I'll try and work on it and get it out over the weekend. But yeah, obviously please do like and subscribe to Hoppers and Spot Vlogs. Uh, it'll be nice to see new subscribers. It'll be nice to hear your thoughts and opinions. And don't forget to click the notification bell because you do not want to miss our amazing vlogs. We are obviously doing motorsport events. We do, like we are now, we are sitting and having a bit of a discussion about how I feel about BTCC and what any news with motorsport. I am going to hopefully try and branch out and talk about different motorsport eventually. But at the moment, BTCC seems to be taking over a bit at the moment. But I will see you guys in the next vlog. Not too sure what it is. It may be the driver ratings. I may try and get another vlog out today if I can at some point. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you soon. And don't forget, it is going to be amazing to see what you guys think. And please do like and subscribe as per usual. And click the notification bell because you do not want to miss the next vlog. It may be a cracker. It may be just a bit of a weird vlog you never know you never know what's going to be happening on hoppers much vlogs we will see you very soon and thank you for watching take care to all